I've had this game for years, CJ's Closet, but I could never get it to work right. That is until now. So let's check it out and see what we've been missing. Welcome to CJ's Closet. We've got cool things in here. Game really sucks. You gotta get in the closet though. Sorry. You know too much. Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of Goodwill Games. Goodwill Games episode 11, if we're still counting. The show where I find games at the thrift store and then force you to watch it whether you like it or not. No, no, no! <laughs> It's kind of early in October, but I don't think it's too early to get into the spooky season, so... <laughs> I compiled the absolute scariest, most terrifying games I could find, specifically at the thrift store. Yeah. Starting off with... Elmo? Freaking Elmo? What's so scary about Elmo? <laughs> you think I'm kidding, don't you? Just wait. Hey everybody, welcome to ABC Elmo. Uh, it's my favorite game. It's no big deal. Elmo has many different games we can play, such as A equals A, or A equals A, or A equals A, slash A. And of course I can't forget, Cat equals cat. That one's a classic. All of these games are exactly the same as far as I can tell. You pick one, Elmo goes into a tent. <laughs> And then he shakes his arms around like he's casting some sort of demonic spell. But in reality, he's not casting a spell, he's just calling you fat. He can't do that. No, I am not making this up. The first word Elmo had me spell was fat. I'm starting to get some really hostile vibes from this game. But it gets even worse. The second word he had me spell was sugar. Sugar. I googled that and it means either a sustainable growth rate or it means nothing. And I'm leaning towards the latter. But the third word it had me spell, and again, I want to emphasize, I am not making this up, was die. The game literally made me spell the word die. And this is a freaking Elmo Game Boy game. I honestly don't know what the heck is happening right now. But it sure looks like what's happening is Elmo called me fat, and he wants me to die. Oh, Elmo, please. Please, Elmo. Oh, no, I, I'll do it. I'll do whatever you want. I'll do anything you want. Congratulations, you have successfully reincarnated and arrived in the another world. Whoa. Cool. This video is sponsored by Isekai Slow Life. In Isekai Slow Life, you've been reborn as a walking mushroom. What do you do as a walking mushroom? Will you move into a small developing town and make new friends and family by meeting tons of different otherworldly maidens? Duh! You also explore the world of Isekai while forming bonds with different companions, like a very hungry princess, or even a cute goblin merchant. Build up your town and even open up your own stores. A shooting range. A potion store. A farm. A freaking skateboard park. And tons of other stuff. Use your savvy business skills to build up your economy. I'm sure it'll go fun. Join the Adventurers Guild and wander the world of Isekai with other adventurers. As you grow your town and explore the world of Isekai, you won't just be a mushroom forever. Eventually, you can become a real boy or even a girl, as of the most recent update. So forget boring real life and enjoy some sweet and relaxing days in Isekai slow life instead. Use my link below or scan the QR code on the screen to download the game now. And if you use my code... <laughs> You can get 10 draws for free. If you're looking for a cute and relaxing game, then Isekai Slow Life is for you. Rated T for teen for suggestive themes. Thank you to Isekai Slow Life for sponsoring. Up next, I've got an old game called Timescape Journey to Pompeii. In the year 79 AD, Mount Vesuvius erupted near the city of Pompeii, Italy. The city was covered by 20 feet of volcanic ash and rocks, killing men, women, and children alike in the surrounding areas. The deaths were largely caused by the massive wave of immensely hot pyroclastic flows reaching temperatures of 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Upwards of 16,000 lives were lost. I know 
what some of you are thinking. Peeves, I don't care about Timescape Journey to Pompeii. That game sucks. <laughs> I can't feel. I can't feel. <sighs> It kinda does suck. But the death scenes are funny. Huh? Huh? Ah! What the f is that? you guys but I'm hungry let's head on over to my Disney kitchen all right what should we make well there you are neighbor <laughs> This isn't my Disney kitchen, it's more like my Disney home invasion. Get the heck out of my house, you rats! I don't want you here! You're supposed to cook stuff in the kitchen, but I couldn't really figure out what I was doing, and the mouse sensitivity is so slow. So instead, I just started putting chocolate syrup on everything. Oh, it looks like our friend has been doing some redecorating. Gosh, <laughs> it's beautiful! Uh... Thank you. The cooking mechanic is bad enough, but by far the worst part is that Mickey and Minnie will not leave you alone for two freaking seconds. I'm just over here trying to make my family's secret jelly chocolate syrup chicken recipe and they won't stop calling me. Why, hello. I can smell that chicken from my house. Okay, whatever. I didn't ask. Oh, God dang it, my chicken burned! Freaking Minnie Mouse! And then they have the gall to come over immediately after and criticize me for it! What's that smell, Minnie? Oh, I think something got a little burned. That's all. Shut the heck up, Minnie! This is your fault! And if that wasn't bad enough, she calls me immediately afterwards. Try dropping the food into the garbage disposal. <laughs> There's this little thing called a garbage can? Uh, yeah. You might want to try throwing some stuff in there, just saying. Tee-hee. <laughs> I thought you wanted to come over. I thought you wanted to try my food. But I guess my chocolate sh burger and burned jelly chicken just isn't good enough for you. All right, whatever. I'll make something just for me. Mmm, that steak smells so good, I can almost taste it. <laughs> See you soon. No, don't come over. Don't come over. Don't come over. Don't come over. They came over. Look at all that. <laughs> You know I put a dead rat in there, right? Yummy! <laughs> Alright, I'm done with this! <laughs> I'll spare your life, Minnie, but only because I don't have a doll of you to put in the toilet. I think I know what it's time for next. It's time for... Cabela's Dangerous Hunts 2009 for the PS2. Be afraid. Be very afraid. Well, I gotta say, I really don't feel that afraid. <laughs> Oh, that's not good. Getting mauled by a bear might not be your typical Halloween horror game, but, uh... It's the thrift store. What you see is what you get. You're lucky I didn't pick the 2009 version of NBA 2K or Madden, because that's the kind of thing I normally find. That's how you have to deal with them when they get fishy. Rated T for Teen. Rated T for T. Everybody shut up! It's Barbie time! We have a local meet coming up. Can you help us get to the Nationals? Come on, this is going to be fun! Barbie! Yeah. She's running! Go Clips! Barbie! She's doing so many gymnastics! Here we go! Hi, I'm Teresa. I'm ready to- Let's have a- I love to practice gymnastics. 
Huh. Well, I didn't want to play this game anyway. I don't know about you, but when I think horror game, I think living books. Hi, I'm Arthur. Welcome to Living Books. But this one is an actual Halloween game, or at least an actual spooky-themed game. Harry and the Haunted House. Another game from the Living Book series, which we've covered in the past. This particular story was written by Mark Schildick. Ching, Schlittings, Schlittings, Shittly, Shittling. Mark Schlitting. Yeah, that guy. Let's play. Hi, I'm Harry. Come have an adventure with me and my friends. Oh yeah, I always love me a good dance. Come on, Harry, it's me versus you. <laughs> I'll never back down from a good challenge. Just come on over to my house and tell me it can beat me in a dance hall. Cause it ain't gonna happen. Oh my goodness, there's a spider! <laughs> well, let's just keep dancing then. Uh, what's, what's happening? I'm stuck. I'm stuck! I'm stuck! The story starts with Harry playing baseball with his friends Amy, Earl, and everyone's least favorite character, Stinky. Hit one to me! I've got it! I've got it! <laughs> Harry hits their baseball into the supposedly haunted house next door, leaving them ballless and wondering what to do. Who's going to get my ball? Okay, I'll stop doing that now. So they break into the house and wander around looking for it. They get spooked here and there, but they eventually find it without anything really happening? It's a charming enough entry into the Living Book series, but overall it's kind of uneventful. That is until the end of the story. Hey, get out of my house, you stupid kids! Well, I'll show you! Well, take this! That part kind of came out of nowhere. Next, I found a classic when it comes to spooks, Scooby-Doo. Specifically, Scooby-Doo and the mystery of the fun park phantom. Scooby-Dooby-Doo! <laughs> I'm actually kind of looking forward to... What? Ugh. Okay, fine. Zoinks! I'm glad Uncle Shagworthy invited us to visit for the weekend. Wait, who was that? Uncle Who-worthy? You know what, never mind. Shaggy smokes a bit too much weed. I can't see a thing! <laughs> so they have to stop in front of this creepy old house with an elderly couple who owns a theme park nearby that's being haunted by a mystery phantom. A fun phantom. <sighs> The absolute worst kind of phantom. So of course the gang is up to solve the case. Okay gang, let's split up and search the park. And remember, uh -huh. we're looking to catch the fun uh -huh. park phantom. Uh -huh. So be on the lookout uh -huh. for clues. Uh -huh. And if you need help, uh -huh. call for Scooby. Uh -huh. Of course, yeah. it'll help if you have a Scooby yeah. snack. That Isn't that good. right, Scooby? Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Right! Uh -huh. And if you figure out who uh -huh. the phantom is, uh -huh. then set a trap. Yeah. Scooby uh -huh. will help you out yeah. with that too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. What am I supposed to do again? Whatever, let's just start. All right, I'm walking around clicking on stuff, picking up random sh being absolutely assaulted by sound effects. Creepy, man. Huh? How do you like that? Huh? Kind of spooky. Huh? Essentially, you just walk around and find clues, AKA click on things. Sure, like here's something. I might be able to use this later. Creepy, man. Groovy, man. How do you like that? Like, I guess there's nothing here after all. This looks like a clue! Until you find three clues under one of the six different suspects, which you find by clicking on things. Like, I wonder where this manhole leads to. It's enthralling. You then find three of the area's matching trap items and then watch some cutscenes. Is this what happens if you fail? <laughs> Is Scooby about to die? No! Groovy Van was found beside a dirt road. Search parties have spent several days searching the woods and found hundreds of Scooby snacks, but no trace of the teenage sleuths have been found. What just happened? <laughs> if you guess the correct suspect with your trap, you can catch them and you win. The mystery of the Fun Park Phantom has been solved. 
I was drunk and I pissed myself, okay? But there's still one mystery we've never been able to solve. Like what mystery is that, Velma? The mystery of the disappearing Scooby Snacks. <laughs> <laughs> no, but for real though, who did this? Who ate, who ate the Scooby Snacks? Shut up. Okay, I'm gonna go take this costume off. Some of you guys are ogling my chest hair cleavage a little bit too much and it's making me uncomfortable. All right, last game. Wait a second. Millie's math house? All right, Elmo, that Mickey Mouse thing, hunting? Oh, that was definitely a stretch, but Millie's math house? I mean, this looks like a freaking kindergarten game for babies. What could possibly be scary about Millie's math house? <laughs> what that? Anybody want to tell me what that thing is? Well, I guess there's only one way to find out. Any of you guys have a floppy disk drive I could borrow? No? Okay. Well, I had to buy a brand new computer to get this thing working. It's a Dell. It runs Windows uh, 98. So this game better be good. Let's check it out. I'm Millie. Come play in my math house. All right, I'll play. Just please, anything but the worm thing. What, 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 are, you, what are you doing? Millie? M Millie? Millie, no! Millie, no! <laughs> Let's build a bug. This is how many seconds you have to live. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. This looks like a clue!